Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank all my old subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. So today I am at it again with my rain catchment. In the past, I haven't had enough rain catchment to water my garden the whole season long. So I added that first rain barrel and I always wanted a second one, but they didn't have any more when I got that barrel. So I went past there today and they had a second one. Well, they had several, so I picked up one. So I'm going to add my extension on, and what I probably should have done was drill my side hill in my first barrel, but it's going to be a little challenging because now it has water in it, but you'll see what I do. It, it's not up to the level where I'm going to put my hill, which is great because I want to put it up as high as I can to keep as much water in my first barrel to make it optimal. So let's get started. So here's my catchment that I put in before. This is the extra I was doing where I'm gonna put my other barrel here that you see. I have everything I need from the kit and I'm going to put my hole in the side of the first barrel here, probably as high as I can get it in this area. And I'm going to put the one that I want, the second one, right here where this trash can is. And this time I'm gonna use just two cement blocks instead of the four I used on the first one. So let's get started with that. So I dug out my ground and leveled it off, put my blocks in and made sure everything was level before I moved on because the base is probably one of the most important parts to make sure everything above it is level. So I made sure that was level before I moved on to the next one. So I drilled my hole as high as I could get it. And now I'm gonna put the rubber gasket in. It holds the hose from one barrel to the other snugly in place so it doesn't come out when the water's going through it. And if you see in there, this is what not to do at home. Yes, any other time it would've stuck in my drill bit, but this time, of course, it's in the barrel, but I'm leaving it. So I'm going to put the hose in. This is gonna go from one barrel to the other. Basically an overflow for the first one into the second one. And this is probably a two hand job, maybe even a two and a half hand job. So I'm probably gonna to have to put the camera down here and you know, have to finagle this hose in because it's not working. And I don't have a tripod for my phone. So, yep. Here it goes. It went in perfectly with actually two and a half hands. So I used this flat hair screwdriver just to get everything snugly in there and it fits great. Snugly in place, it feels very secure with the gasket. So now I'm gonna work on my second rain catchment barrel. So it's I cleaned it out. It was already cleaned. It's food grade. It was already cleaned out. So what I'm gonna do is drill the hole. I marked it. And you probably shouldn't do this at home. I'm drilling one-handed with a camera. Not something you really want to do at home. So I just marked how high up I wanted the hole, the spigot and drilled my hole. So here is my spigot and it has everything I need in it. It has a rubber gasket that has um, ribbing, if that's what you call it, in it. So the spigot actually screws into that rubber gasket that goes into the hole. So I'm just gonna put my gasket in here and then I'm going to screw my spigot down into that. So let's do that. And as I said, it it's ribbed inside, so it makes it a tight, fit I am probably once again I really need to get a tripod for this camera so I've got my gasket in and I'm just gonna start screwing my spigot in and as you can see I don't know if you can see this but it is plastic it's kind of sturdy that the when I ordered it I thought it was metal but when, once I got it it didn't say in the description that it was plastic but it is plastic if you want to know so the actual um, kits that it comes in just beware it is plastic so I'm just gonna screw this in and get it all snugged up in there it does create a nice tight fit 
which is what I like so it doesn't drip or anything like that which is good because you don't want to be losing water from around the spigot area so once I have that I'm gonna go up it actually said to ha put it a little higher but I, I figured down here and I can also use it for a drain because I'm not gonna put a drain in and then I'm going to drill a hole in the top to accept my hose to fill it up and I am gonna use another nylon stocking just to keep any kind of debris out of it so it is up on one block and I just want to make sure everything is level once again before I start hooking things up and then realize it's not level. So what I'm going to do is just make sure it's level and then I'm just going to feed my hose through. I just use the pliers to pull it through, put my nylon stocking on and then I'm gonna just going to screw it in. It's easy, it's simple, everything comes in the kit and then I'm done. I swear it was maybe 15 minutes to drill everything film everything and everything was done it was a little less intensive than the first one because i didn't have to drill the downspout and basically everything else was the same i'm gonna use the just the cap on loose for an overflow but otherwise than that my second water catchment is done it's gonna rain tomorrow so hopefully it will fill it up and I won't have to worry about using my regular hose on the water and this will last me throughout the summer with the rains we get so that's my second catchment barrel and I mean you could do as many of these as you want a quick and easy DIY project so a little update on the water catchment we had a quite a downpour yesterday for several hours my first rain catchment is full my first rain barrel is full as well so um my trash can is also full my overflow trash can I call it and then my second overflow barrel I don't know if you can see that so I put my finger in it it's also full yeah so everything is full I have quite a bit of water and there's a little standing water I'll just drill a drain for that but everything's full Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos.